Hello everyone, these are going to be your messages for this upcoming week or whenever you hear it. I'm going to make this short and hopefully very concise and um, hopefully it makes sense to you. All right, so the general feeling I get is that there is an opportunity for us to bring something into existence, something that is solid, something that is, yeah, solid. It is represented by Ace of Coins. So this is a card of manifestation. There are many of you that are in the process of manifesting something into your physical reality. It, I wanna say no time like the present. Therefore, if you have been stagnating with something for quite some time, next week in particular seems to be uh, a great time or a, yeah, a great time or a great opportunity in order to put whatever you have been stagnating on into practice. The overall message or the theme, if you will, is a card called Reaping. So I'm going to let you look at this card and see if you pick up any additional information. But what I get from this card when I look at the picture, I see it as an invitation, as, as if to say the universe is inviting you to experience something different whether it is something different in terms of how you express, whether it's different in terms of what you express, or whether it's different in terms of how, uh, you know, what you try, something, something you've been contemplating on for quite some time, but has not been, you haven't brought it into fruition, you're being invited to step into your power by stepping out of your comfort zone you will uh, experience potentially quite a bit of resistance. I have been dealing with resistance over the last few weeks and it has been through the roof at times where I oscillate between having extreme uh, awareness of the things I wanna do then to flip into resisting the very thing that I need to do. So an invitation, reaping invitation, the universe is inviting you to step out of your comfort zone. And I feel it has to do with this manifestation. Whatever it is you are being invited to put into, man, into, into reality, you're being asked to step out of your comfort zone. There seems to be a choice or decision around this new beginning that is forming. And the choice or decision may be lack of confidence, may be lack of... Um, Lack of confidence, I want to say, uh, lack of sureness, being unsure of yourself, not knowing if it's the right choice for you, not knowing that if you do make the choice that it's going to uh, to bring you success. So there, there's absolutely a potential for us to begin something new, to bring something into our reality. But there seems to be some conflicting thoughts about either how to do it or 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 how to, yeah how to how to go about it. I I put a few more cards and I said okay what is the biggest thing that I need them to know? Well, the eight of cups in reverse shows up and the five of swords and the way they landed to me I will tell you how I felt it. What I felt was that in order for you to practice. In order for you to practice being yourself more, you have to let go of old disappointments. You have to let go, we have to let go of um, hiding ourselves or keeping us, ourselves in the background so that we don't stick out because we don't want to be noticed. If, you, if you've held on to any sense of uh, resentment towards people in the past or anger towards people who have hurt you and that anger and resentment or those people who have hurt you have uh, really um, interfered with your ability to be comfortable to be confident this time particularly for some reason around this time it is uh, the energy is very very what's the word I want to use very very potent uh, for us to be able to let go of whatever it is that we are holding on to. Uh, the star card is an indication that when we let go of things that are 
that have disappointed us in the past. We will regain our sense of sureness and our sense of balance. So the star is hope. The star is um, emotional emotional stability, being well, being sure. You, star, you guys get it's a wonderful it's a wonderful card to get. Hope, hope, hope. Hope is um, the message here. So. If you've been waiting a long time for something and it hasn't come to you yet, chances are quite high that you will find it in the next, next little while or you will start making progress towards attracting it into yourself. What could this mean? I mean, this could mean so many different things. but. Let me just tune in and see if I can find some examples. It's time to go out and get busy. It's time to be seen. And that's a metaphor. You can translate it however it fits in your life and in your particular circumstance. But it's time of no longer hiding. And when I say hiding, it's hiding behind your fears, hiding behind our fears. The feelings of resistance are connected to fear. We don't usually resist things that are good, usually. Sometimes we do, but that's because they have a negative connection to whatever that is. So if you've been hiding a lot, it's time to let or come out of hiding. What's the best way to come out of hiding? It's to understand why you're hiding in the first place. If you are someone who wants to put themselves out there, but you are stopping yourself from being seen, understanding why you are afraid of being seen becomes a very important part of you letting go of that fear of being seen. And generally, it comes down to it. Go, it comes down to us feeling uh, not worth, not worthy, not adequate, not good enough. The, you know the things that everyone feels at some point in their lives, but. Chances are some of you have been holding on to whatever that is and it's uh, it's no it's no longer useful for you. It has been useful at some point. It's protected you at some point. It's kept you safe in many cases. For some of you, it saved your butt. But this time around or at this time, that this particular time, it's important to let some of this go. What's the best way of letting go of something that has hurt you is to try and understand it from a different perspective. If you've been holding on to betrayal and as a result of that, you do not make yourself available for other commitments or for, for relationships, for committed relationships, then it's time to let go of that by understanding how it shaped you in a positive way. Find something that is of value to you, that has added value to you as a person and see that difficult or or painful often situation as something that gave you value in terms of who you are so that you start connecting to it that way rather than that situation or a person having taken something away from you. And yes, they may have taken something away from you for sure. But as we all know, we attract people into our lives in order to learn, in order to understand, in order to in order to have a certain experience. And once we can once we can find the positive, the value of that experience, generally speaking, in my experience, it is a lot easier to let go of that emotional comment of an emotional connection to that particular difficult experience. So uh, we're being invited to look at some of the things that we are hiding from, particularly in terms of us expressing our fuller potential and to um, to make a point of releasing the hold, you know, old stories have on us because there are old stories. They belong in history. <sighs> Is there anything else? I think that's all I've got. This was short and sweet. Kind of sort of what I expected. I wanted to try this out and see how this works because I want to be able, I want to do this on a regular basis. So if you like this, if it makes sense to you, comment if you would like to see it in a specific way or 
or you have ideas, that comment down below. And um, yeah, I hope this this uh, this helps you in some way. And um, I'll see you next week. Talk to you soon.